everybody, we're the Scots. And we traded the typical American dream to follow a dream of our very own. We live in our RV and travel full time. And today in our tiny kitchen, we are making instant pot cheesecake. Chocolate cheesecake, actually. Together. Together. Because so <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. It is Valentine's Day and usually my adorable hubby here does most of the cooking videos. But I um, am going to allow her into the kitchen today. And the reason for that is that hubby doesn't bake. I really don't bake. But see, we're not baking today. We are instant potting. Yes. So. And neither of us has ever made a cheesecake, even though I yep. do sometimes bake. And um, we've certainly never tried it in the instant pot, but yep. everybody talks about it. So it's going to be interesting. So. Um, I did make Christy wear one of my favorite aprons today. So um, <laughs> let's get going. Yeah, we're going to be experimenting. So come along with us and let's see how this works out. <laughs> Okay, so here's everything we need for trying out our chocolate cheesecake in the Instant Pot. Uh, in addition to the ingredients, which Brian will go over in just a second, we are also using a couple of extra items today. One is a KitchenAid hand mixer, which we've just picked up. Figure we can use it for some other baking. And one is a 7-inch push pan. Ooh. It's a little bit different than your typical spring form pan, but it has a silicone gasket to prevent leaking. And it does have a bottom that can pop out so that you can get your cheesecake out of this pan when you're done. And um, a lot of people on the Instant Pot community on Facebook were recommending this one. And it went on sale today at Michael's. So um, we've heard that besides cheesecake, we can use this for things like meatloaves and shepherd's pie and similar items like that. So we're going to be trying that out as well. Of course, our Instant Pot. And then for ing ingredients today, baby, take it away. Well, first of all, we're going to be using 10 whole graham crackers, or about 5 ounces. Honey made, always the best. Of course. And just to the right of that, we're going to be using um, probably about a half a cup plus 3 tablespoons of granulated sugar. Cool little handy container, too. Mm -hmm. It's even got a lid. Then next, we'll be using 3 tablespoons of melted butter. One pound of cream cheese at room temperature. Yum. Two large eggs. And unfortunately, we'll only be using 10 ounces of the semi-sweet, or actually, we'll be using the milk chocolate um, morsels. So, Nestle Toll House, my opinion, the best, but um, we might go a little bit over 10 ounces. Or for Friends fans, Nestle Toll House. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our three tablespoons of butter, and we're going to melt it so we can brush the inside of our pan with some melted butter. We're going to set the pan aside in the fridge and let it cool for probably about 5-10 minutes while we actually make our graham cracker crust. Oh, you're melting it in the microwave. That is totally my style. It's quick. It's easy. We're doing it Instapot style. So now we take our brand new push pan and we get some melted butter. We're going to use this nice little basting brush. We're just going to brush the inside of the pan, bottom included. You want to get all around because you don't want this crust to stick at all. all right. We're not going to need the brush anymore, so we can just go ahead and toss that in the sink. And I'm going to put this in the fridge. Okay, so the recipe is not very specific about the graham crackers. It just says to mix them with the butter, but we know they need to be crushed. So we're going to attempt to crush them in the Vitamix or a food processor. I know that people do cheesecake crust that way too. But we are, this is what we have, and this is what we're gonna try. <laughs> but I'm gonna see if he'll let me do this, because I kind of like crushing stuff. Yeah, babe. <laughs> okay, I'm just breaking them up a little bit to put them in the Vitamix, because it's gonna do a pretty good job of smashing them. Mm. All right, three tablespoons of sugar in here. And then I get to crush things. Always put your lid on, people. <laughs> Christy smash. <laughs> <laughs> I usually start off low on the very low speed and then go up from there. That looks pretty good to me. How about you? Yeah, it looks good to me. <laughs> okay, things got real, so I put Brian back in front of the camera. <laughs> There was real mixing involved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, mm, you do this. Yeah, let's put the chef back in front of the camera. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pour the uh, 
wonderful looking graham cracker sugar mix here into a nice little mixing bowl. The texture of it seemed to come out really well in the Vitamix. Yeah, it's really nice and fine. And now we're going to add the rest of our melted butter. Go ahead and mix it all together until it's all nice and moist. Make sure you want to get all the, uh, the dry stuff off the sides and from the bottom of the bowl. Make sure everything's nice and well mixed. Mm, smells wonderful. I don't know about you, but I already really want this cheesecake. <laughs> oh, I wanted this cheesecake before we even started making it. <laughs> I was like, ooh, look, a recipe. I'm hungry. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Now we'll move on to the next step, which is placing this in the pan and forming our wonderful, wonderful crust. Okay, so now I'm going to pour our graham cracker butter sugar mix into our push pan. You may be looking here and wondering, what's that measuring cup for? Well, I'll show you. <laughs> That's because I asked him what it was for. <laughs> it's true, she did. Put that aside, and then we're just going to start smashing everything down. And you want to push it up against the sides the side of the measuring cup. That's how you get side crust. Mmm, side crust. Mm. This looks so good already. I feel like we're actually making something. Um, we are actually making something. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. Alright. Maybe we'd have enough to cover that hole if you didn't eat two bites of the crust. I had to taste test it. <laughs> how do you know if it tastes good if you don't test it? You see what I have to deal with, guys? <laughs> So do we do anything to this crust, like bake it or anything, or we just put the filling right into it? Nope, we're going to put it in the fridge and let it sit for um, about 30 to 45 minutes. While we make the filling and While stuff? we make our filling. And then, um, yeah, then we pour the filling straight in. Nice. And look, it's homemade. Beautiful. Ooh. Okay, my beautiful red-headed wife. What do I do? <laughs> Are you ready to be Betty Crocker? Sure. Sure? But with a cuter apron. Oh, so you're like Angie Crocker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add um, a pound of cream cheese, room temperature. If We've she had can... it out, like, since we started doing this. Yeah. So. We're going to add that to our bowl. Okay, um, so both cream cheese packages... In the bowl. Are now in the bowl. It's a pound of cream cheese at room temperature right there. Yes. So now what are you going to do? Beat it up. Beat it till smooth. Okay. Any preference on speed? Go ahead and start with the slowest. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's not the slowest. <laughs> That's the slowest. And the reason for me to be in this, these videos are also to remind you people that you don't have to know what you're doing in order to try this stuff. <laughs> like, Brian's such a good cook that I think even when people watch his videos, they might think, like, oh, only he could do that. Because I kind of feel that way sometimes. But you can do it. If I can do this, you can do this. Okay, you know what? Go ahead and add the sugar. We have our half cup of granulated sugar. And what's that you got there, hon? Spatula. Spatula. What are we doing? Just scraping the sides of the bowl to try to get it all back in the middle here. Mm, look how good that looks. I just want to lick it's it. It's starting to actually smell a little bit cheesecakey, which is awesome. But so much of it is sticking to the. Well, we're about to add the mixer, and we're about to add the eggs next. Oh, okay, that will so. make life a little easier. Yep, and we're gonna add one yet one egg at a time. Does this look? Good enough to be doing yes, that? Yes, that's okay. right for the egg. All right. Okay, so due to technical difficulties, you missed me putting in the second egg. <laughs> it was pretty exciting. <laughs> but the second egg is in there, and I'm mixing it all in. And I was just saying I'm very glad that we got a mixer, both for the uh, labor involved and also because I think it'll be a lot creamier this way. It does look nice and creamy. It does. Hi everybody, welcome back. <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to melt our chocolate chips. Now, 
Normally, I don't do it like this, but in the spirit of Instapot and easiness and quickness, we're going to try this out in the microwave. So, so I'm actually going to use one of my silicone bowls to pour almost the entire bag in because this bag is 11.5 ounces. And we need 10. And we need 10. So now we're going to microwave this very incrementally. If yeah, that's a, a little bit at a time, stir, yeah, a little exactly. bit more, stir. Because we don't want the sides to burn. So we're going to start off at 30 seconds. We're going to let that go for 30 seconds, and we're going to pull it out, stir it, do it for another 30 seconds. So we're going to try that out. Well, as you can see, our chocolate is ready now, ready to be poured into the cream cheese mixture. Who's hungry? Because this is oh. making me really hungry. Oh, I know I am. Chocolate makes everything better. Let's do this. Hey, that was not fair. I'm the cook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to pour this in slowly while we mix. And like you hear me say all the time, you don't want to leave any of that love behind, okay? <laughs> Lots of chocolate loving right here. Are you trying to develop your own cooking catchphrases? Is that what's going on here? Sure. <laughs> Once again, we're going to stop and scrape the sides again. Just to make sure every little bit of love is getting down in there. Alright, last round of mixing. We're almost ready to pour this into the crust. Yes, we are. Does that mean we can put it in the crust now? Oh yes. So this just came out of the fridge and has it set up nicely? It looks like it's set up pretty nicely. It looks like pudding. Pudding that I want to eat. All right, now what? Now we're just going to even it out, spread it around. If it goes above the, uh, the graham cracker crust, that's okay. So we're going to try it for 15 minutes on high, and we're going to see how that goes. But one of the difficult things with cheesecake is you won't know right away. You'll have to wait till it's been in the fridge, right? Okay. That is correct. Oh, does that look good. Okay, guys, so we're going to add two cups of water to the bottom of the Instant Pot. And we are then going to place our wonderful trivet in there. And then, we're going to place... Oh wait, you're going so fast, oh wow. The pan. Ooh. Ah. So it's gonna have a nice little water bath. We're going to place the lid on the pressure cooker. Lock it. Ensuring our tab back here is towards sealing and not venting, so towards the back. We're going to come up here to manual. The pressure is on high, and we're going to adjust the time down to 15 minutes. So we're on manual, high pressure for 15 minutes. It's going to go ahead and beep. <laughs> there we go. And now it's gonna it's gonna warm up and then it's gonna heat for 15 minutes and we'll see how it goes. We'll let you know how it actually cooks in the instant pot for 15 minutes. So now that the 15 minutes is up, uh, it's gone to the warming stage. We're gonna let this sit for about seven to ten minutes, and then we're gonna do the uh, manual pressure release after seven to ten minutes. So be sure to let it sit for seven to ten minutes, because that's what the recipe says. We're gonna release the pressure. And is this the quick release? This is the quick release. The button's already dropped. Letting it sit that seven to 10 minutes, it let a lot of that pressure naturally dissipate. So now we're gonna open this up. Remember, always open it facing away from you. Hmm. I think that's usually what it looks like when it first comes out. Oh really? I've never made cheesecake before. I have to admit, that's pretty crafty.
So we always have bungee cords around our kitchen because we live in an RV and when we move, we bungee cord all of our cabinets shut. So I actually use the bungee cord to hook onto the edges or onto the handles of the trivet. Let's bring it right down here. And it says leave it on a wire rack to cool, so that's what it's already on. Yeah, we're just going to leave it on that trivet, and I'm going to put it in my fridge and let it sit for four hours. All right. Made a nice spot for it. And I guess we'll see if this really turns out to be cheesecake when we check on it later. Four hours. Okay. Here we go. It's the moment of truth. We've been waiting hours. And hours. To see if this cheesecake turned out. I got skinny. You can see my rib. No, you can't. You ready for the cheesecake? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if it came out. I'm so, so, so excited. It looks. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so now do I just push it out? Yeah, it's got that, that bottom that you can push out of the pan. Easy. Slowly. Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh man, does that look nice? This is. It looks like a cheesecake. It smells like a cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so good. I've said it before and I'll say it again. We did not get fat by accident. I'm ready to try this puppy. Let's cut into it. Okay, let's. I'm sorry to everyone who wants to lick their computer screen right now or iPhone. Or wherever you're watching this. I wish you could smell it. <laughs> there you go. A little of your... The crust seems to fall apart. I think maybe we should have used a little bit more butter maybe. Yeah, or maybe not chopped them as fine. But that can be a problem sometimes when you use a food processor or a Vitamix. Mm -hmm. But I think a little more butter would solve the problem. Hello, beautiful. Hey. <laughs> Are you talking for the cheesecake? There we go. Okay, let's try this bad boy. He just totally tasted it without me. The crust! <laughs> it was the crust! Okay, you ready to try this, baby? Oh, the texture is good. Mmm. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and say that is a success. It could be a little colder, but we're a little too impatient to leave it in the fridge for longer. <laughs> but the texture is really good. It's like a really creamy cheesecake. Yeah. I really like it. Make it. Do it.